世界アニメリスト最初のビデオ異世界 has been one of the most popular storytelling genres in which characters reincarnate, portal, or get summoned to some new unknown domain. The genre spans centuries of storytelling and includes classics such as Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland, Super Mario Brothers, and Super Mario Brothers. Translating to other world or different realm, Isekai has gained new life via popular light novels like Sword Art Online and Mushoku Tensei that would go on to get anime adaptations. This is where we come in and say, Hey, let's make a tier list of Isekai anime. But it seems people disagree on what Isekai means, and sometimes it remains unknown throughout a series whether or not it actually is Isekai until you reach the very end. Additionally, it's one of those styles about which people are highly polarized and opinionated in every single way possible about every single thing, even amongst themselves and within themselves. There are some beautiful train wrecks out there that are so bad that I can't help but keep watching. The highest of highs and the lowest of lows, Isekai spans the gap. The short answer to the question, what is Isekai, is it depends on who you ask. But thanks to our hard work and massive brains, we shall provide the objectively correct answer. Because it's a genre, it must be self contained. There are centuries old tales that have been classified as isekai by journals and articles. However, their validity comes into question by implying how big of a genre umbrella isekai would cover. The definition can't simply be a crossover or collision of realms, that encompasses too much to qualify as a genre. Furthermore, it can't be defined by the setting alone. Magic, Renaissance punk, futuristic technology, spirit worlds. It's common for isekai to have some of these elements, or more. However, sci fi and fantasy are independent genres and do not qualify as isekai by themselves, but rather are simply traveling between places within the same realm, with some combination of magic and technology that might be alien to the viewer, but exist with logical consistency in the story's respective realms. What's important for isekai is that a character, and not necessarily the main character, Transports from one realm to another previously disconnected realm, cannot return at will, and must learn to adapt and survive the new realm. This new realm is not allegory, not a dream, and not just another dimension or parallel universe. It is an entirely separate, self contained reality with its own rules and logic. Therefore, Isekai is not a location, or a setting, or any sort of powers or magic by themselves. It is the method of storytelling and the path that the protagonist takes in order to progress the story. The protagonist could wish to return home or not, and the theoretical potential to return might be present or absent. The teleportation summoning subgenres usually have a way for the transported characters to get back after restoring order or completing some monumental task. On the other hand, think of a typical reincarnation story. Usually, it's a story of self reinvention and making up for past mistakes or undoing bad karma. It's part of the Eastern mythological side of things, part of the Wheel of Reincarnation, Sansara. You're reincarnated, you got a second chance, do it again. Another crucial quality our magnificent minds have intelligently inferred is the impact of the teleportation or reincarnation, as well as the preceding events. If the rest of the story does not integrate the character's past and can be told as its own story, and getting isekai doesn't affect the character development or is forgotten, then it's not isekai. Regarding popular media, we can conclude the following SAO Season 1? Yes, is isekai. Subsequent seasons? Nope. Tons of plugging in and out at will. Overlord Season 1? Yes. Subsequent seasons? Nope. Getting isekai no longer matters. Kamikatsu? Nope. Just time travel. Oops, spoilers. That one restaurant isekai? Hell no. Back and forth travel all the time. Your boy Kon Ming? Nope. Just reincarnation, time travel. Dragon Ball Z? Nope. Same reality, different worlds and planes. Superman? Nope. Just interstellar travel. Chronicles of Narnia? Nope. Consensual portals in the whenever you want position. Wizard of Oz? No. It's just a dream. Urashima Taro, the ancient Japanese folktale, cited for being one of the oldest known isekai? No! It's just different kingdoms with time dilation. <sighs> so, we have at last made some concrete terms and conditions, even if they're not all reasonable. But being reasonable is not a characteristic of isekai anyway. After determining what encompasses the genre, we set some more arbitrary rules. One, The cutoff for release date and completion date for shows is the 31st of December 2022. Our current rate of work cannot match the current rate of shows being released. Two, a season or film must have at least 90 minutes of runtime, allowing characters to adapt and develop, as well as for our genius minds to maintain sanity. 
Three, for television shows, we watch through at least three episodes. Four, we need spoilers. The number of anime that have been tagged as isekai on Analyst is staggering. Even with our arbitrary exclusions, our starting list is over 200. Too many plot synopses under or overplay isekai's integrity to the plot. It is necessary to understand how the story plays out to determine qualification. Five, as soon as we find a disqualification, then we dump it. Gone. Six, we will create a separate honorable mentions category, which we will not rate, but they will have a special place in our hearts. To rate each isekai, we use the three x three nine point system matrix scale, which we'll link down below so that you can go and read it in all its glory. I found it a long time ago, and it's super easy and quick to get ratings that are more real than a simple scale like a one through 10. I like a little more structure in my rating system. So, you start with an immediate knee-jerk reaction to the show. One is terrible, two, meh, three, great. Then, as you further watch and stew in the anime, you can consider or reconsider and give it another one, two, or three rating. And that's how you get your matrix. One, two, three across the top, one, two, three down the side. For example, if you pick one and then you pick two, what you do is you go down the ones column by two, which is one, two. So you pick two, and that's your final score. If you pick two the first time, and then three the second time, that's a six. You go one, two across the top, and then one, two, three down to the bottom. Then, if something stands out as being particularly great or terrible, you have an additional point to add or remove, bringing it to zero through 10. And then on top of that, we've added additional points for high quality animation, good character development, no harem, intelligent main character, smart villains, Interesting world, reasonable power curve, good 3D, main character dies in their own world, main character gets summoned, and lastly, a free space for some arbitrary redeeming quality that can only be redeemed if the isekai was already considered terrible. 10 possible points via the matrix, plus 10 additional possible points, equals 20 total possible points, with zero as the minimum. As an example, if a character wanders through a gate to a new reality, the gate closes behind them, and they can't get back, then the story qualifies as isekai, but they don't get either of the points of being summoned to the world or dying in their original world. We'd probably check off the redeeming quality space and give the show a point for originality, since it's not a common trope, but only if the show was bad. We will separate viewing and reviewing anime into several subsequent videos, starting at Poru no Miracle Dai Saksen, Paul's Miracle Strategy, a television show released on the 10th of March, 1976, and finishing at Kagami no Kojo, Lonely Castle in the Mirror, a movie released the 23rd of December, 2022. If you want more, we need your support. After going through all the shows individually, the final video will be the tier list that combines them all, using our rating system of zero through 20, dividing them into groups of five tiers. I think that explains it. Do you get it? Don't try it too hard, it's just isekai. Now go away.